In physics, a conservation law states that a particular measurable property of an isolated physical system does not change as the system evolves over time. Exact conservation laws include conservation of energy, conservation of linear momentum, conservation of angular momentum, and conservation of electric charge. There are also many approximate conservation laws, which apply to such quantities as mass, parity, lepton number, baryon number, strangeness, hypercharge, etc. These quantities are conserved in certain classes of physics processes, but not in all. A local conservation law is usually expressed mathematically as a continuity equation, a partial differential equation which gives a relation between the amount of the quantity and the transport of that quantity. It states that the amount of the conserved quantity at a point or within a volume can only change by the amount of the quantity which flows in or out of the volume. From Noether's theorem, each conservation law is associated with a symmetry in the underlying physics. Topic: <laughs> Conservation laws as fundamental laws of nature. Conservation laws are fundamental to our understanding of the physical world in that they describe which processes can or cannot occur in nature. For example, the conservation law of energy states that the total quantity of energy in an isolated system does not change, though it may change form. In general, the total quantity of the property governed by that law remains unchanged during physical processes. With respect to classical physics, conservation laws include conservation of energy, mass or matter, linear momentum, angular momentum, and electric charge. With respect to particle physics, particles cannot be created or destroyed except in pairs, where one is ordinary and the other is an antiparticle. With respect to symmetries and invariance principles, three special conservation laws have been described, associated with inversion or reversal of space, time, and charge. Conservation laws are considered to be fundamental laws of nature, with broad application in physics, as well as in other fields such as chemistry, biology, geology, and engineering. Most conservation laws are exact, or absolute, in the sense that they apply to all possible processes. Some conservation laws are partial, in that they hold for some processes but not for others. One particularly important result concerning conservation laws is Noether's theorem, which states that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between each one of them and a differentiable symmetry of nature. For example, the conservation of energy follows from the time invariance of physical systems, and the conservation of angular momentum arises from the fact that physical systems behave the same regardless of how they are oriented in space. <laughs> <laughs> exact laws A partial listing of physical conservation equations due to symmetry that are said to be exact laws, or more precisely have never been proven to be violated. Approximate laws There are also approximate conservation laws. These are approximately true in particular situations, such as low speeds, short time scales, or certain interactions. Conservation of rest mass Conservation of baryon number see chiral anomaly and sphaleron. Conservation of lepton number in the standard model Conservation of flavor violated by the weak interaction Conservation of parity Invariance under charge conjugation Invariance under time reversal CP symmetry, the combination of charge and parity conjugation equivalent to time reversal if CPT holds. Topic: <laughs> Global and local conservation laws. The total amount of some conserved quantity in the universe could remain unchanged if an equal amount were to appear at one point A and simultaneously disappear from another separate point B. For example, an amount of energy could appear on Earth without changing the total amount in the universe if the same amount of energy were to disappear from a remote region of the universe. This weak form of global Conservation is really not a conservation law because it is not Lorentz invariant, so phenomena like the above do not occur in nature. Due to special relativity, if the appearance of the energy at A and disappearance of the energy at B are simultaneous in one inertial reference frame, they will not be simultaneous in other inertial reference frames moving with respect to the first. 
In a moving frame one will occur before the other, either the energy at A will appear before or after the energy at B disappears. In both cases, during the interval energy will not be conserved. A stronger form of conservation law requires that, for the amount of a conserved quantity at a point to change, there must be a flow, or flux of the quantity into or out of the point. For example, the amount of electric charge in a volume is never found to change without an electric current into or out of the volume that carries the difference in charge. Since it only involves continuous local changes, this stronger type of conservation law is Lorentz invariant. A quantity conserved in one reference frame is conserved in all moving reference frames. This is called a local conservation law. Local conservation also implies global conservation, that the total amount of the conserved quantity in the universe remains constant. All of the conservation laws listed above are local conservation laws. A local conservation law is expressed mathematically by a continuity equation, which states that the change in the quantity in a volume is equal to the total net flux of the quantity through the surface of the volume. The following sections discuss continuity equations in general. Topic: Differential forms. In continuum mechanics, the most general form of an exact conservation law is given by a continuity equation. For example, conservation of electric charge Q is rho T equals minus J display style frac partial rho partial t equals nabla cdot math bf j where is the divergence operator rho is the density of q amount per unit volume j is the flux of q amount crossing a unit area in unit time and t is time if we assume that the motion u of the charge is a continuous function of position and time then j equals rho u display style math bf j equals rho math bf u rho t equals minus rho u display style frac partial rho partial t equals nabla c d o t rho math bf u in one space dimension this can be put into the form of a homogeneous first order quasilinear hyperbolic equation Y T plus A Y Y X equals zero display style Y underscore T plus A Y Y underscore X equals zero where the dependent variable y is called the density of a conserved quantity, and a y is called the current Jacobian, and the subscript notation for partial derivatives has been employed. The more general and homogeneous case y t plus a y y x equals s display style y underscore t plus a y y underscore x equals s is not a conservation equation but the general kind of balance equation describing a dissipative system. The dependent variable y is called a nonconserved quantity, and the inhomogeneous term s y, x, t is the source, or dissipation. For example, balance equations of this kind are the momentum and energy Navier-Stokes equations, or the entropy balance for a general isolated system. In the one-dimensional space a conservation equation is a first-order quasilinear hyperbolic equation that can be put into the advection form y t plus a y y x equals zero. Display style y underscore t plus a y y underscore x equals zero, where the dependent variable y x t is called the density of the conserved scalar quantity c q d equals conserved quantity density, and a y is called the current coefficient, usually corresponding to the partial derivative in the conserved quantity of a current density c d of the conserved quantity j y a y equals j y y, y Display style a y equals j underscore y y. In this case, since the chain rule applies, 
j x equals j y y y x equals a y y x Display style j underscore x equals j underscore y y y underscore x equals a y y underscore x. The conservation equation can be put into the current density form y t plus j x y equals zero. Display style y underscore t plus j underscore x y equals zero. In a space with more than one dimension the former definition can be extended to an equation that can be put into the form y t plus a y y equals 0 display style y underscore t plus math bf a y c d o t nabla y equals 0 where the conserved quantity is y r t Display style c d o t denotes the scalar product is the Nabla operator here indicating a gradient and a y is a vector of current coefficients analogously corresponding to the divergence of a vector c d associated to the c q j y y t plus j y equals zero Display style y underscore t plus nabla c d o t math b f j y equals zero. This is the case for the continuity equation. Rho t plus rho u equals zero. Display style rho underscore t plus nabla c d o t rho math b f u equals zero. Here the conserved quantity is the mass, with density ρ r t and current density ρ u, identical to the momentum density, while u r t is the flow velocity. In the general case a conservation equation can be also a system of this kind of equations a vector equation in the form y t plus a y y equals 0 Display style math bf y underscore t plus math bf of math bf y c d o t nabla math bf y equals math bf zero, where y is called the conserved vector quantity, y is its gradient, zero is the zero vector, and a y is called the Jacobian of the current density. In fact, as in the former scalar case, also in the vector case a y, usually corresponding to the Jacobian of a current density matrix J y. A Y equals J Y Y Display style Math BF a Math BF Y equals Math BF J underscore Math BF Y Math BF Y and the conservation equation can be put into the form Y T plus J Y equals Zero display style math bf y underscore t plus nabla c d o t math bf j math bf y equals math bf zero. For example, this the case for Euler equations, fluid dynamics. In the simple incompressible case, they are u equals zero u t plus u u plus s equals 0 display style begin aligned nabla c d o t math b f u equals 0 1 2 x partial math b f u over partial t plus math b f u c d o t nabla math b f u plus nabla s equals math b f 0 end aligned where U is the flow velocity vector, with components in an dimensional space U1, U2, UN. S is the specific pressure, pressure per unit density, giving the source term. 
it can be shown that the conserved vector quantity and the c d matrix for these equations are respectively y equals 1 u j equals u u u plus s i Display style math bf y equals begin p matrix one math bf u end p matrix q quad math bf j equals begin p matrix math bf u math bf u o times math bf u plus s math bf i end p matrix q quad, where display style o times denotes the outer product. Integral and weak forms Conservation equations can be also expressed in integral form, the advantage of the latter is substantially that it requires less smoothness of the solution, which paves the way to weak form, extending the class of admissible solutions to include discontinuous solutions. By integrating in any space-time domain the current density form in 1D space y t plus J x y equals zero. Display style y underscore t plus j underscore x y equals zero. And by using Green's theorem, the integral form is minus infinity infinity y d x plus zero infinity j y d t equals 0 display style int underscore in a t caret in a t y dx plus int underscore 0 caret in a t j y d t equals 0 in a similar fashion for the scalar multidimensional space the integral form is y d n r plus J Y D T equals zero Display style oint Y D carrot N R plus J Y D T equals zero where the line integration is performed along the boundary of the domain, in an anti-clockwise manner, moreover, by defining a test function phi r t continuously differentiable both in time and space with compact support, the weak form can be obtained pivoting on the initial condition. In 1D space it is 0 infinity minus infinity infinity phi t y plus phi x j y d x d t equals minus minus infinity infinity phi x 0 y x 0 d X display style int underscore zero carrot in a t int underscore in a t carrot in a t phi underscore t y plus phi underscore x j y dx dt equals int underscore in a t carrot in a t phi x zero y x zero dx. Note that in the weak form, all the partial derivatives of the density and current density have been passed on to the test function, which, with the former hypothesis, is sufficiently smooth to admit these derivatives. Topic. See also. Invariant physics. Conserved quantity. Some kinds of helicity are conserved in dissipationless limit, hydrodynamical helicity, magnetic helicity, cross helicity. Conservation law of the stress energy tensor Riemann invariant Philosophy of physics Totalitarian principle Convection diffusion equation Topic. Examples and applications Advection Mass conservation, or continuity equation 
charge conservation Euler equations fluid dynamics inviscid Burgers equation kinematic wave conservation of energy traffic flow equals equals notes <laughs>